In her San Francisco home, with some moral support from her dog Biscuit, Melissa Engel follows the rapid fire changes at her former employer. On the current path, I just, I'm really, really worried about Twitter's future. On November 12th, she learned she'd been let go, first by losing access to her accounts, then an email. She says other former full-time employees have told her they had to sign an NDA to get their severance benefits. But because she was a contract worker, that doesn't apply to her, so she's speaking out. I'm not given a severance package. I can't. They can't take that away from me, and I think people need to know about this situation. The layoffs, followed by an employee exodus, came just days before Elon Musk reinstated former President Donald Trump's account Saturday evening. Cal State East Bay professor Grant Kean says the move appears strategic. Um, he gets to say that he's um, rescuing democracy and reintroducing a certain type of political discourse on Twitter, even while it overshadows for the moment some of the um, really tough news that people at Twitter have had in the past couple of weeks. While the focus might be on Trump's account now, Kian notes that the absence of employees like Engel who checked content will shape users' experience on Twitter. Those losses of personnel are going to be felt. Just over time, these things build up and the site will become more abusive, more extreme, and less reliable over time. Alyssa Gord, Today in the Bay. From